For lab 10, we were doing the spinal nerve. So looking at our nerve man, we have a number of plexes, which are groups of nerves where they brought, branch together. We have a cervical plexus up here near the cervical vertebrae. And coming from the cervical plexus, we have one nerve that you have to be aware of. It comes down, runs through the thoracic cavity. It's this green nerve right here. And this is called the phrenic nerve. And it will go down and it will control motor skills to the diaphragm, which is the muscle that is involved with breathing. Then we have a lumbar plexi down here in the lumbar region. And from the lumbar plexus, we have one large nerve that you need to be aware of. And this is your femoral nerve. And this is going to run in front, anterior to the femur, and down the leg. And then we have below that a sacral plexus. This is the sacrum in the back here. We'll turn him around in one minute. And from the sacral plexus comes the sciatic nerve. So if we rotate him for a minute, you will see the sciatic nerve coming out of the sacral plexus. And this will run down the back of your femur and then down to the lower leg. Those are the three plexes where they involve a number of different nerves intertangling together. We also have what's called the brachial plexus, and this is coming out through the arm and is going to expand down to the arm. Now with the brachial plexus, we have five different nerves you need to know. The very top here is the axillary nerve. Axilla, if you recall, means armpit. So this is in the area that's involved with shoulder movement. Then there would be the musculocutaneous, which would come right to the surface here, which is not readily available on this model. And then we have these three nerves that are going to run down the arm. Now, if you remember your arm and you put it in anatomical position, palm up, on the thumb side is where the radius is going to be. So this is going to be your radius. And then the ulna is on the pinky side. So running down right near the radius is the radial nerve. Then we have the ulnar nerve on the inside. And then we have in the middle the median nerve. All of those are going to be involved with forearm movement and muscle control in the census.